All right, today first responders got to experience something that doesn't happen very often in their career. The ability to shake the hand of a person they saved after a terrible car crash. Randolph County deputies, paramedics, state troopers, and the pastor of a church did all they could to keep Lindsay Aldrich alive. Some first responders consider the 2021 crash one of the most horrific they have ever responded to, and it still haunts them. It left Lindsay's body bruised and broken. Fox 8's Daniel Pierce witnessed her getting the chance to thank the people who made her miraculous story of survival possible. It was non-responsive, and usually when you see people like that, they don't make it. Deputies never thought Lindsay Aldrich would make it to her 18th birthday or walk across the stage at graduation. Joy Aldrich. Despite the fact one split second on the road nearly killed her. Randolph County 911, what's the address of the emergency? Um, uh, I just had a lady hit me head on and she's in her car near Flag Springs Methodist Church and she's not moving. That 911 call was made by the driver who hit Lindsay Aldrich on January 31st, 2021. She was on her way to work taking this curve on Zoo Parkway next to Flag Springs United Methodist Church. She lost control of her vehicle and ended up in the other lane. She, she appears to be awake. You can hear in the background of the call the other driver trying to break into the car to help Lindsay. Drove up and seen the car like it was. My first thought, this is a fatality. Deputy Riff says the crash strengthened his faith in God. He attends Flag Springs United Methodist Church. His pastor, Barry Queen, was on scene in seconds. The two prayed Lindsay would survive. You know, if you got faith the size of a mustard seed, you can move a mountain. That's what popped in my head. Just a little bit of faith and then without any doubt, and then look, that's the miracle. The young girl made it to the hospital with a punctured lung, broken skull, paralyzed vocal cords, and a broken clavicle. People, when they brought her in, she was in a coma, uh, unresponsive. 15% survive who come in at that point, and 10% and of those don't ever come out of the coma. So she's at that's 5% chance of sitting there like she is right now. Uh, right, stop. After months in the hospital and touch and go moments, Lindsay was released and started rehab. Wow. Now, with a scar on her neck and a What Would Jesus Do bracelet on her wrist, she is conquering the world with plans to become a nurse. Because my neurosurgeon, he like literally saved my life. Like I would have died if, you know, he didn't like operate on my brain and stuff. I feel like it'll be a lot easier to understand, like, not only how the families feel because my own family felt like that, but like how the actual patients feel. Friday, she shared that with those who made it possible. So kind of wanted to thank them. This time you never see them again, you know. You don't know who you've helped and who's not, and this is just amazing <laughs> to see her here. Daniel Pierce, Fox 8 News.